My name is Jesse Economist. I am the owner and founder of Jade Studio. Uh, we are a residential design firm in Des Moines and uh, started the company in 2020. So I was at a firm in town for about four years and then decided it was just always kind of in my heart to start my own thing. So took the leap of faith and then about two months later, the world shut down and I was terrified by that. It was, um, yeah, it was a huge, it was a huge uh, kind of step of faith um, to start the business in the first place, but then to like immediately go into that. Um, but it ended up being just amazing. Um, I've had so many referrals and so many clients. About a year in, I started a, or I opened my own studio space downtown and started hiring and it's kind of been a whirlwind ever since, but it's been super fun. I think my superpower is being able to read a client and what they want very quickly and very accurately. So I love, I love this portion of my job. When you're meeting with a client, you're asking them a billion questions, learning about their life and their dog and the rules for the dog and if they have kids and just asking all of these questions to make sure your design isn't only beautiful, but functions really well for them. Um, but then also, I think being able to look at the items that they have in their current home or potentially like inspiration images that they share and being able to like uh, recognize patterns and pick up on what their design style is without them even necessarily having the words to describe it. Um, so I think that allows us to be very efficient. When we start with a new client, we will walk through a consultation with them, kind of learn what their scope is, um, what they want our help with. And then we are able, we've created this program where we will select all of the elements we're helping with in the house. And it gives us an estimate for our hourly kind of input. Um, and from there they will sign off and we usually just dive in right away. So we have um, begun uh, presenting with like a vision-based design so we take our first swing after um, some surveys and some questionnaires that the clients fill out. We will take our first swing at the project, um, meaning we pick out the paint color, we pick out the flooring, we pick out the light fixtures and we present it from a space of like, this is where we see the entire room going. What do you think? And then we refine from there. And that's been amazing, especially like what I was talking about earlier with um, being able to read a client well. There have been several times where we present the vision and the client's like, yep, I love it. <laughs> and that's like a slam dunk moment, but it really just speeds up the process so much more. Like if they love it from the get go, we have, we have pretty much all of the selections to go out and get bids on. So that's been amazing. And then we also have been using Revit, which has, I think, taken our studio kind of to that next level where we have a full um, set of documents explaining exactly where we want the tile to be laid out, um, where what pattern the tile is, what grout we're using in each tile. Like we get so granular. Um, so it really helps our builders and contractors know exactly what they're doing and has re relieved a ton of back and forth. Um, it also has helped our clients a ton because while we can look at all the images of the materials in a room and we can see what that's gonna look like someday, they, they can't do that most of the time. Um, so to be able to provide them with like photorealistic uh, renderings has been huge. I think hourly is probably, it's it's more work. I mean, obviously you want to be transparent with how you're spending your time. The first questions clients will always ask is how many hours is it gonna take? So you have to be prepared to do hourly, um, but we have a system where we report every single minute that we work on a client's project and they get a monthly like update on what that looks like. Um, hourly allows us to only need to charge for the hours we spend. So if you do flat fee, 
sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, we did flat fee for a while, um, but we found some clients were just like moving right through it. And it was almost unfair to them because we did, we overestimated the time needed. And then we had other clients completely take advantage and require like six meetings that were just to pick out like the stone countertop. And like, you just don't, you can't anticipate that. Every person's different. So hourly allows you to really kind of hone into whoever, whatever personality. And it's, you're not gonna be better. The client's not gonna be better. Like it's, it just feels like a more seamless fit. I've experienced such a change and a transition from um, nothing being available online. You literally had to buy through your designer and you didn't have other options. It was strictly to the trade. And now it's like, it's everywhere. So I think designers have had to pivot a little bit knowing our clients have the option to shop us online and knowing like there are prices everywhere. So I kind of, I don't mind it to be honest because I, I want our, our clients, I want them to go price check because we're, we're being very respectful with our numbers. We're being very intentional with our markups. And yes, that is part of our business and we make money through it. But I think as a designer, we, we charge hourly and I am excited to share some of our designer uh, discounts with our clients. So I think that's been an interesting shift of like, you can't rely solely on making money through product, but you now have to kind of educate people and get them on board with um, being okay paying an hourly fee for your services and then fully separate the furnishing side of it. In Des Moines, I do think we have a little bit of a harder time um, accessing furniture and showrooms like the closest showroom would be Chicago and um, or going to High Point um, and that's like that's so beneficial for designers so I'm so jealous of like the designers who live really close to a merchandise mart and can just like pop over there test it out show their clients and then leave um, so that I think really leads us to needing to know our furniture brands really well remember proportions, remember the sit and feel and be able to communicate that really effectively. A lot of our clients just trust us that we know the furniture that we are presenting will be comfortable, it is high quality and all of these things. So I think that is difficult in Des Moines to not have all of the physical items for people to sit and touch and feel. Mm -hmm. I also think in, in Des Moines, specifically, and maybe this is nationwide, but I think people are now starting to understand the value that interior designers bring. We're not just little decorators who come in with like vases and flowers and like put it on a shelf. We're capable of doing so many big things that really help a, a build move forward. Um, so I think that education bit is super huge. And the more designers who are out there kind of pitching like, no, we do like construction documents and we are drawing every detail for every wall and full electrical plans and like all of this. Um, I think that definitely helps up the ante of like our firm compared to others. I want Jade Studio to be really, really big. Um, we're up to 10 employees right now. And that's, I would say that's pretty fast for only being open for like three and a half years. Um, but I have goals of being 30 plus employees and that always surprises people at like, um, they kind of think it's crazy that we already have 10 and I'm like, oh, we're just getting going. So yeah, I want to I want to be able to like have a reach nationwide and I, I don't want to be just Des Moines focused. So um, yeah, it'll be exciting to see where this goes and Hopefully we just continue to be blessed with more clients who trust us with the, our process and be able to just keep on going. Growing up, I always knew I wanted to help people. I think it's been such a joy to like be an employer. And I always joke, like, I don't feel like I'm old enough for this. Um, but just to be able to like, you spend so much of your life working 
and to have our designers coming in and it's like truly I look forward to spending time with them every single day and it's such a healthy workplace I mean we have the hard conversations and we don't let things linger and it's just really kind of filled that desire to help people even on a different level beyond our clients.